Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to another Tech Vision HD video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the new Odd Gaming Keyboard from Walmart. Before we get into the video, it would be really helpful if you guys could like and subscribe. So let's get straight into it. Before you even open the box, you can actually touch the keycaps and feel them, as well as the switches, which is a nice plus and great to see. You are greeted with the keyboard, as well as a wrist rest, a quick start guide, and a disc with the software. The frame of the keyboard is made of aluminum with the keycaps made of ABS plastic. On the back, there is two pull-out feet to increase the height of the keyboard by around 2-3cm. The overall dimension of the keyboard has a length of 18 inches and a width of 6 inches, and has a height of 2 inches. This is with the included wrist rest, which is made of plastic. It has magnets to help it connect securely to the keyboard. The keyboard is a durable braided cable and has a length of 6 feet. On the back, there are numerous ways for the cable to exit the keyboard, and you can actually adjust them to your choosing. The keyboard doesn't have any side skirts so it gives the keycaps a hovering effect which I think looks nice but it kind of makes the keys sound kind of hollow. I actually decided to compare this keyboard with the K552 keyboard which has the same Automo blue switches except they are an older version. The switches on this keyboard are Automo blue with 55 grams of actuation force and a 2.3 millimeter actuation distance. They are also guaranteed for 50 million clicks. The keyboard also supports anti-ghosting for simultaneous keystrokes and end key rollover. These Automo blue switches actually have a box around them which improves their stabilization. As you can see when I compare them with the Red Dragon K552 Automo blue switches which do not have the box around them. The keyboard comes with a software on a disc, but I will link it in the description for those who do not have an optical drive in their PC. You can adjust a bunch of things in the software like the RGB, locking the Windows key, swapping out your WASD keys with the arrow keys, the repeat rate of the keys, the delay of the repeat rate, you can even test out the repeat rate you chose. You can also adjust the polling rate and create macros. To adjust the RGB, you have to highlight the entire keyboard or just a couple areas to get the menu and you get 10 lighting configurations. You can adjust the direction of the lighting, the color, the brightness, and finally the speed of the color. In my opinion, the effects are really nice but they don't get too bright. Without further ado, here are all the lighting configurations. So my final thoughts for this keyboard are that it is a really good keyboard for only $42. Some cons are definitely that this is a really big keyboard, it is a full size keyboard, and it also has really loud switches. Another gripe I have with this keyboard is that it only comes with, with Automo blue switches and there's no other options. But if you can get past that, it is an all around great keyboard. If you want something a little bit smaller, then there's always the Red Dragon TKL keyboard, which is just around the same price point. All in all, I do recommend this keyboard. Anyways, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.